My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can run an Excel macro from UiPath. Here I have a sheet of three dog names, Amigo, Bingo and Cookie. And I got three corresponding names. That's pretty much to the high side, I know. And then I created a macro that will just calculate the total and the average. So that the total is the sum, so we can run this macro. And we can see here that the total is 42 and the average is, is 14. We could uh, try to delete those and then we could change the ages up here to something like this. And then we can uh, run the macro again. And here we can see that the total falls and the average falls. So we want to run this macro from UiPath. And what we'll do here is that we'll go to UiPath. Then we'll find an Excel application scope like this drag this guy in. Let me um, just do this so we can uh, see the sheet while we work. And the Excel application scope, then we must provide it with a workbook path. So uh, let's just close this one down. Click the three dots here and then have the Excel macro enable file that you created with your macro. I placed mine on my desktop called dates. Click open and now we can open the file again here. Uh, what we'll do here is that we'll have a, an execute macro like this. And here uh, we put in the macro name. That's the name you gave it um, here in uh, Excel. I created, I uh, called mine a VG. So I put that in here in uh, quotation marks like this. Then we could have a, some parameters. We don't have any here. And uh, if there's some output, we could store it here. However, this one is sufficient, so let's try to run it. Boom! That's how easy it is to run a macro from UiPath. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. Have a good day. Bye-bye.